WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News This Morning. Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. Today is Tuesday, November 8th. It is Election Day. I'm Caitlin Francis. People all over the state are on their way to the polls, or maybe they've already made their way there. Here are three things to know before you head out to cast your ballot. If you have not registered yet, it's not too late here in Connecticut. We offer same-day registration. If you haven't done your research either, you can look up a sample of a ballot for your town or city online. And finally, you are not allowed to enter a polling place wearing anything with a candidate name printed on it, you will be asked to turn that article of clothing inside out or cover it up. Be sure to stay with us all day long right here on Channel 3 for all of your Election Day coverage. We'll be with you as the polls close tonight at 8 o'clock. And then from 8 until 11, we'll be streaming live on WFSB Plus covering all the big races with live reports as those results come in. We'll be back on Channel 3 for Eyewitness News at 11 o'clock as well. Switching gears here this morning, the latest Powerball drawing is definitely a historic one for several reasons. Last night's drawing for the $1.9 billion jackpot has been delayed due to one participating lottery needing extending time to correctly process sales and play data. The plan is to hold the drawing later this morning, but lottery officials have not announced when that will happen exactly. However, we'll make sure to keep you posted, so stay tuned on the Channel 3 app, WFSB.com, and here on air for more. 701 now breaking from overnight in New Haven. Firefighters tackled a large house fire that left eight people displaced. Our pinpoint news tracker showing us exactly where that took place. Fire started at a three story wood frame home on 99 Plymouth Street. Thankfully, no injuries reported there. And overnight in Hartford, 15 people displaced from their home after Hartford firefighters rushed in to extinguish a fire on Jefferson Street. We're taking a look at some video there. Firefighters tell us someone first spotted flames about 5 o'clock last night. Smoke was seen pouring out of the second floor. People who lived in that home have been moved to a hotel due to extensive damage. Thankfully, no one was injured. Investigators, though, say that the victims lost just about everything that they own. Tracking some developing news now in Hartford this morning where police are investigating a deadly shooting. Pinpoint news tracker showing us the location of that crime right on Nelson Street. When officers arrived, the victim, 46-year-old Chester Gaston, was unresponsive and rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigators are still searching for that shooter. Anyone with information is asked to call Hartford police. And a man accused of exposing himself to students near Rocky Hill High School was seen flashing the students again at a local elementary school, still on the run here this morning. Police say he committed his first crime while he was parked outside of, again, the high school in Rocky Hill near the tennis courts. And uh, investigators say has now been spotted at Stevens Elementary School. Now, police did chase that criminal, but the pursuit was called off for safety reasons. He was seen in a black Lexus with license plate BB11505. You can see all that information up on your screen right now. <clears throat> Uh, the car also has dark tinted windows and police ask if you see that vehicle or if you have any additional information to give Rocky Hill police a call. In Norwich, police are still searching for a killer who they believe murdered a local woman. Pinpoint news tracker showing us where 30 year old Jashira Pagan was shot and killed early Saturday morning at a condo complex right near West Thames Street. Police say this was not a random attack and an argument preceded the gunfire. but. At this point, they have not identified that suspect. New information now for you about a shooting that happened at O'Reilly's Auto Parts store in Newington. One of the two employees who was shot was pregnant. Police say the suspect, 24-year-old Sherrod Hackett, entered the store angry over a previous purchase. He's now facing numerous charges, including assaulting a pregnant woman and larceny. Both victims are recovering in the hospital. Their conditions still unknown at this time. What a start, what a day. Uh, it's going to be cooler than yesterday by about 20 to 25 degrees. Uh, it's back to November weather. You need a jacket as you're headed out the door this morning, and you will certainly, you might need a coat tomorrow morning with temperatures dropping into the upper 20s, low 30s. But first, let's get to the sunrise this morning. Absolutely spectacular out there. Woo, Middletown, you guys are looking good. As you are in New Haven, you can see 48 degrees there. That number is still good. That's about 13 degrees above average. There is a little bit of a breeze out there, and that breeze is making you feel a little bit cooler. Rock Rocky Hill, our vantage point towards the skyline there, looking absolutely gorgeous, and our radar is dry. Visibility at a perfect 10 all across the state, and it is time to vote. Get out the vote. 6 a.m., we were under clear skies. 
12 p.m., 54 to 55 degrees, sunny skies, clear skies this evening as the polls close at 8 p.m., 44, 43 for the shoreline. Just an absolutely gorgeous day, but again, it's going to be considerably cooler than where we've been. Good start. Roads are dry. Good morning, everybody. Satellite and radar confirms there's not a lot going on out there. And I don't think too many schools are open today due to Election Day, but you know what? There might be one or two open, so we'll roll out the bus just in case. 54 to 55 for the ride home. Kids will be outside for recess today. It's going to be a gorgeous day of weather, but they will need a sweatshirt. Here's early morning future cast. Tomorrow's weather today. Hour by hour depiction of not a lot going on for the next two to three days. We are watching subtropical storm Nicole. That is going to make a run towards Florida. <coughs> Uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning is a Category 1. They need to keep an eye on that on the east coast of Florida. And then it moves up for us as a rainmaker Friday afternoon, Friday night, and Saturday morning. It's going to be very wet around here and very windy. All right, so this is Friday, 7 p.m. You can see the amount of rain that's in the northeast. And then this front quickly pushes it out. I think by Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, we're clear. We're good to go. So the rain will be over by then. But we could pick up anywhere from one to two to possibly three inches of rain from Friday afternoon, Friday evening, and Saturday morning. Here are the current temperatures out there right now. 37 in Salisbury. That's cool. 45. Again, the numbers are cooler than yesterday by about 20 to 25 degrees. There's the temperature differential. 24 degrees cooler at Bradley. 23 in Waterbury. 23 in Willimantic and in Putnam. 22 in Chester, 22 degrees cooler than 24 hours ago. That's remarkable. And there is a bit of a breeze out there, anywhere from 7 to 12 miles an hour. So just keep in mind that while we've got sunny skies, it is going to be a cooler day today, a breezy day today with golden sunshine. So you'll need a jacket or a sweatshirt. More eye cams for you. Hartford looks good. Waterbury looks good. Mystic looks like a painting this morning. Isn't that picture perfect this morning? Whoa. And New Haven, 48 degrees. Once again, looking good. Here's our old Saybrook eye cam. That is also just spectacular. So here are your forecasted highs. 51 for Salisbury, 56 for New Haven. Bright and breezy. Seven days ahead. Nice weather. Moderation Thursday and Friday. Rain arrives Friday afternoon, Friday night, and Saturday morning. Late day clearing Saturday looks possible. And then Sunday and Monday, sunny but considerably cooler with highs in the mid to upper 40s. Whoa. 707 is now the time. Kate, back to you. All right. Thanks, Scott. And thank you so much for tuning in here to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get your news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day.